In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the spindle gear in a Makita grinder. The spindle gear attaches to the spindle on your grinder. It mates to the drive gear on the end of the armature. Its job is to transfer the direction of rotation from the armature to the spindle. Like any gear, over time it will begin to wear. With hard use of the grinder, the gear will wear much faster. Replacing the spindle gear is easy to do, and I'm going to show you how. Spindle gears, as well as many other parts, can be found on our website. Let's get started. I'll begin by removing the side handle and the guard. The gearbox housing is held in place with four screws. I'll go ahead and remove those. Now I can remove the spindle assembly by removing the four screws that secure it to the housing. Now I'll remove the upper spindle bearing. To do that, I'll use a bearing separator. I place the separator around the bearing, and then I tighten up the nuts on the separator. Just finger tight is fine. Now I'll place the bearing separator with the spindle assembly attached over my vise. I've opened the jaws so that the spindle assembly will just fit between them. Now I can use a punch and a hammer to remove the bearing. Now I'll remove the retaining ring and the wave washer from the end of the spindle shaft. Now I can slide the spindle gear away from the spindle shaft. Now I can install the spindle gear. The spindle gear is aligned and held to the shaft with a small key. I'll install the key back into the spindle. Now line up the keyway on the gear with the key on the shaft and slide the two together. Now I'll install the wave washer. It keeps a little tension on that gear and the retaining ring. Now I can install the upper shaft bearing. I'll place it onto the end of the spindle and using a socket that has a diameter the same as the inner race diameter on the bearing, I'll place the socket on the race and tap it in place with a hammer. Now install the spindle assembly back onto the gearbox housing. And I'll secure it with the screws. There's an O-ring on the spindle assembly, so I want to seat the screws evenly as that O-ring slides into place. Just work my way around the housing, tightening each screw a little at a time. I'll reinstall the gear housing assembly to the motor assembly and secure it with the four screws. And I'll finish up by installing the guard the side hand. 